Now that we are wrapping up our videos on worship, we're going to talk about the service of sending. And this is the very last part of the worship service where we go out into the world having heard God's word and sung his praises and been fed by the sacrament to go and shine the light of Christ into the lives of those around us. And part of the service is many times the Nunc Dimittis, which is a song that was sung by St. Simeon when he got to see the infant Jesus. And listen to how Simeon talks about the light of Christ. He says, My eyes have seen your salvation, a light for revelation to the Gentiles. That's from Luke chapter 2, verses 30 and 32. And many people think about a Christian's presence in the world uh, as taking the light of Christ into the world. And many say that we reflect the light of Christ, just like I'm reflecting the light of that light over there for our camera. But as Christians, it's good for us to know that we are more than reflectors. You see this reflector? You might be able to see it there in the camera. Maybe this white one as well. See it a little bit there. And this mirror, this mirror has no light of itself. It's not a reflector per se, but when we put the light on it, you can actually see the reflection of that light. But it isn't the reflection I really want to focus on. It's the light itself. You see how much brighter it is when the light is shining on you? Well, the good news for you is that in worship, Christ's light not only shines on you, but the love of God actually fills you up. You have the light of Christ living inside of you. Your darkness, the times that you feel scared or lonely or sad, Jesus is there to lighten your darkness and to bless you with the good news of his love and the hope and everything good that you would need. And so when we go as Christians into the world after worship, we go as the light of Christ because the Holy Spirit lives inside of us and we get to share the hope that we have been given and the love and the life and the forgiveness we have in Christ Jesus with all those around us. And so as you think about the blessings that God gives you in worship, I pray that God would help you to see that you not only reflect the light of Christ, but you carry the very light of Christ with you into the world when you share that word and you share God's love with those around you. Please pray with me. Thank you, dear Jesus, for being the very light of the world and for filling us with your light, the light of love and hope and joy and peace and every good thing. And we pray that you would so bless us with your Holy Spirit and worship that when we leave the worship service, we would recognize and remember that we are your light shining in the world, a very dark place, and that you will use us to fill those around us with your light as we share the good news of your love with them. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessings on your day.